Welcome to section 3, Directing with Cinemachine. In this section we are going to talk about Cinemachine, which is a new tool introduced in Unity 2017 as an external asset, and then has been fully integrated since Unity 2018.1. Now, it provides an easy interface for creating complex camera movements, such as follow an object, orbit around, blend between cameras, etc. And then it allows to create procedural cameras at runtime, and we will see some of these features uh, in action later on in the section. And it's fully scriptable, only if you want to. Otherwise, uh, it can be controlled fully without writing any line of code. And uh, it's really good integrated uh, with timelines, which we saw in the previous section. We are going to have an overview about how a Cinemachine works, what is a virtual camera, how the, the overall interface works. We will see how we can use this uh, Cinemachine to create tracking cameras and moving cameras with false particular objects. We will see how we can blend different cameras. And finally, we will see other kind of cameras uh, which comes uh, into the package such as free look, clear shot and so on. Now, before to move on, there is a great news. Unity 2018.1 is finally out, so we're going to use 2018.2 beta because uh, why not? We could have new features which we can learn along the way. We're going to see how we can upgrade our project to the latest Unity version. If we go on the official blog of Unity, on this article wrote uh, the 2nd of May 2018, we can actually see what's new in Unity 2018.1. Here you will find a lot of new core modifications and features on the engine, from the graphics, so script of rendering pipeline, from shader graph, and so on. As much as I would like to go through them all and uh, teach you how to use them, we actually cannot cover everything in this video course, but we will see throughout the video course that we will cover most of it. So we will cover shader graph and many others, uh, such as post-processing stack version 2, and so on. So if we now go on the roadmap of Unity, just go on uh, unity3d.com slash unity slash roadmap. We can find here that uh, in 2018.1.0, some features has been implemented. It's not detailed as much as the blog post, but you can have a quick overview of the new features. So if we scroll down, you see also 2018.2, which is currently in beta version. And here are some of the features that are implemented. While we are going throughout this course, we are going to use the beta version because maybe some of these features that have been implemented can be useful for what we are going to achieve in this video course, which is basically learn about the latest features of Unity 2018. Let's move into Unity Hub. Now here, first of all, we have a new hub version. So let's just uh, restart the hub and install the update. The installation of the hub should be pretty straightforward and easy. Here it is our new version of the hub. If we go under the install stub under official releases, we can actually see that we have 2018.1. But we are going to go on better releases instead and download Unity 2018.2. Press on the download button and Unity Hub will actually start automatically with download after you select which parts of the engine we would like. We are going to keep the defaults since we don't need any of these special support platform for now. So just click done. Unity Hub will start our download. So for now, I'm going to pause my video until the installation is complete. Now that Unity 2018.2 has been installed, let's go on my machine tab and set this new version as the preferred one. Now, if we go on the projects tab and we select our Desertland project, on the side, we can click on these three dots and we can actually choose which Unity version we want to use for this project. So let's click here and select 2018.2 and then we can click open. Now Unity will automatically update our project. Here is asking if we have saved the project, if we have a backup, because some assets may require a re-import. Just click on continue. In this new version of Unity, Unity has changed how to manage package. This is just an info that Unity explains how actually the new system manage packages. So for now, let's click OK. Now, Unity might take uh, quite a while to import your project, depending on your computer settings. And here we are. 
As we can see, we have updated our project to the latest version, Unity 2018.2. Unity is going to cluster and doing other jobs for us, and that's fine. Here we have our scene. If we select our character, we have our complete timeline as we left from the previous section. Now we have uh, our project updated to the last version, 